VDocs adds a structured verification process to the tools we use every day, such as Microsoft Word. Here, as I'm authoring some text, I can highlight a piece of it, and using the new verification tools integrated into the Word ribbon, I can go ahead and box the selection. Straight away, I get an outline of the statement and a statement number indicated in line. This information is structured within the document, so as we continue to work on it, all of this information stays up to date. I can then go ahead and expand out this verification pane on the right hand side, where I can nominate who is responsible for verifying the statement and or choose from three types of verification. The first is to mark the statement as a piece of self-evident information, or I can verify it based on my personal knowledge or opinion, accompanied by supporting commentary. But for this statement, I'm going to verify it with a fact linked to an evidence document where I might go and reference an internal document library and say that the information appears in paragraph 4, for example. The benefits of facts is they can be linked to multiple statements, so we don't have to constantly go and relook up all the same evidence details every time we want to talk about them within the document. Now, that statement shows up in green as I hover over it, confirming that I have all the evidence trail in place and it's now complete. As I hover over different parts of the document, I can easily see which statements are read and still need work. Likewise, any edits made to the statement text will flag it as invalidated, requiring the person responsible to simply review and revalidate the statement. We also have tools here to identify the next area that is unboxed, and to filter all statements and facts based on person responsible or various exception criteria. At the end of the process, we'll send one of the documents off to print. We'll also create a marked up version like this, which shows each of the statements boxed with the statement number ahead of them. And we'll generate a verification table which says each statement number, the page it appeared on, who's responsible for the ver verification, and what facts and evidence they've linked. This means that at the end of the process, we will sign off the printed version, the marked up version, the verification table, and all the associated evidence documents in a single pack, and we have a great electronic trail of all the verification process. The advantage of doing this electronically is that we can do it collaboratively as we go. This is the story of a real document running over about a one month period. As we were working on it, we boxed as we went. So this is showing the total number of statements over time, peaked at about 1700. We also tracked the total number of facts. We then tracked day by day the number of statements that didn't have any linked facts or a person responsible marked and how many statements had been invalidated due to editing. So here we're able to see new work as we we're writing the document and then the day we turned the corner around the 6th or 7th of May where we started to get ahead on the verification process. Then by extrapolating that out, we could see when the verification process was going to be finished. So instead of trying to cram it all into the last couple of days of the process, we were able to work on it over a one month period with a really good idea of when it would be done.